24 Chef Challenge had them lining up tonight at the convention center. Every dollar raised going to help feeding the Gulf Coast combat hunger. Fox 10 News, a very proud sponsor this year, even getting in on taste testing who had the best. <music> 2024 Chef Challenge had more than 20 teams bringing their A game and best eats. On tonight's menu, we had appetizers. It looks colorful, it looks delicious. Well, thank you so much. Feel free to try one and take as uh, many as you like. We got plenty to go. You don't have to tell me twice. Right. Let's do it. Enjoy, my friend. All right. Lots of delicious entrees. Hey, what's up, Fox 10? Hey, you tell me, what are you cooking? Oh, we got crawfish and shrimp etouffee from the world famous Salvation Army. Can't get it nowhere else but right here. Awards and bragging rights on the line. Bay Gourmet Catering took home last year's People's Choice. There's a little bit riding on the line tonight. Well, you gotta, you, we come to compete, you know. Chefs are competitive by nature, but it's an awesome, we love feeding the Gulf Coast. That's a, you know, you can't get a better charity to support. Islanders Restaurant on Dolphin Island also defending their best appetizer title. Guys are looking to place again. Yes, we are. We're hoping to place first. <laughs> Every dollar raised goes to help feeding the Gulf Coast. Last year, serving more than 30 million meals. And it's needed desperately. Uh, we just got a new report out from Feeding America talking about the greatest single year increase in hunger need that uh, has happened in the past decade. The chefs kept the food coming. There's a lot of competition out here, so we just wanted to bring it and feed the Gulf Coast. So we're doing it. We're out here. And we, of course, had to sample. For the sake of the story, I'm going to try it. Just another time to tell you that scan, take a look at those items on the side of the country. Photographer Jacob Brooks left speechless. I can't put it into words. I can't. The first bite, oh my God. There was also a silent auction. You guys are kind of browsing the live auction. What's caught your eye? The liquor. Yeah. About, that's about it. She wants all the girly stuff at the end there. I'll probably end up getting the girly stuff at the end there. Whatever she wants. Exactly. And for the first time this year, there's a vegan section. And the night, of course, wouldn't be complete without dessert. This year, I did a strawberry shortcake sundae because it's so hot, and that just says summer. Yeah. So it's a little cake, then my homemade vanilla ice cream, strawberries on top, and a whipped cream. I guess it's always for a good cause. The only way you thank God for what you have is to pay it forward. And this is our little way of paying things forward. You guys been before? No, this is our first time coming, but we'll definitely be back again. And this year's winners are after the votes were tallied. Best appetizer going to ACF Metro Mobile Chef Association. Best entree, Mary Southern Cooking. The vegan category went to Jerusalem Cafe and dessert. The Flower Girls, I can test that was very, very good. And People's Choice once again going to Bay Gourmet Catering. Congratulations to everyone who participated making this event a success.